most of us believe energy comes from what kind of food we eat every day or what kind of exercise or how frequently we exercise what if i tell you how energetic you are or how energetic you want to be doesn't have to do much with what food you eat every day or how many times you exercise every day or week whatever you see energy it flows between all the living things i know you're going to agree with me on that energy is all about give and take so before understanding that how energetic i want to be or how i can tenx my energy let's understand how we can save our energy or let's understand what are the major leak areas of your energy every day the next four factors that i'm going to tell you i want you guys to pay attention to it after listening to this video or after watching this video i want you guys to note those factors every time those factors come into your daily routine or daily life so the first important leak area of your energy is your anger i know but guys hold on i'm not telling you that stop getting angry or no you know you cannot be angry or just because you get angry you are a bad person no anger is just another emotion it's just like happiness just like fear whatever guys it's just another emotion but how do how does you no know, how do we conclude that we are angry because we don't pay attention to the base of the problem that gets converted into being angry anger normally starts with being unhappy with something unhappy starts with with something that you don't want to do it but you're still doing it so watch out on that part that where you can do everything what you like so that you will not become unhappy and thus you will get less angry and thus you can always control your reactions right so this is your first thing your second thing is about unnecessary complexity guys okay let me say it again unnecessary complexity don't you guys think that we you know we hardly keep things simple if you want to do something in your life if you want to achieve something in your life it can be anything so let me give an example i was just working on a new product and guys i don't want to tell you about my technical knowledge believe me you're just going to stop this video as soon as i tell you about it so i was getting all complex about hey you know what how am i going to achieve this how am i going to um you know achieve this or rather get it complete and i was not able to understand technical things and that was an unnecessary complexity i started creating it for myself and thus that was you know giving me a lot of stress thus this stress and oh, i was like oh my god whether i'm going to get this or not so what did i do i kept it simple i found out people i hired people who can technically get it done for me i know now it sounds so simple just work on unnecessary complexities that we all create that's one of the areas that we really give out our energy more the next one is complaining we get up in the morning and sometimes we just think about our past and we keep on complaining about our past you know i should have done that but i didn't do that this person didn't allow me that person doesn't allow me today my spouse doesn't allow me to do this my parents don't you know allow me to do that and it just goes on and on i want you guys to hold on there every time you complain whatever energy you are having 70 to 80% of that energy just it's wasted guys so control that point also instead of complaining i want you guys to have more empathy start understanding 
why it happened, how it happened, or maybe it just happened, but what can I just do it right now and how can I fix it right now? And believe me, the choice is yours. You have the answer within. Yes or no guys, yes you have the answer within. You just don't want to look for it. And you just keep complaining. So stop the complaining right now. This is your third important area where you will. This is like leak area of your energy. So hold it there. The next one is something that we all go through every day. And today, maybe during this pandemic and the pandemic is getting over, this time specifically, we have suffered a lot from it. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about noisy surroundings. I'm not talking about any disco parties or events or something. I'm talking about those noisy surroundings. I'm talking about social media guys. One of the, I would say, dangerous disease ever a human can get is called as FOMO. We all know about it, right? Fear of missing out. Hold on to that guys. Avoid social media as much as possible. If social media is your business, be it. Stick to the business and get over it. Draw a line where you can stop your social media, I would say, watching it or what's going on in other people's life. Try to control more on that. One of the best way to start this is as soon as you get up in the morning, guys, for the first one hour, and I, I know it, I'm not the only one telling you this. There are so many amazing teachers and mentors and coaches telling you the same thing that avoid social media for the first 90 minutes of your morning as soon as you get up. Give it a try guys. I promise you life is going to get much better. You're going to save your energy. Now that you know those leak areas of energy, let's talk about the areas which can tenex areas or I would say factors that can tenex your energy. So the first factor that can really tenex your energy is practicing gratitude guys. Practice gratitude. It can be in the form of gratitude meditations. It can be in the form of gratitude affirmations. It can be just like you get up in the morning and make a list of five things in your mind on a piece of paper and just read it every day. That's it. For the first few days, it might sound like, you know what Shweta, I don't feel it anyways. But that's okay. Just be with the practice. And let's see how miraculous it gets after some days. Start practicing gratitude. And the best, best way I would say to practice that is get up in the morning and just read out five things or think of five things. Say it aloud within yourself, in your mind, maybe loudly. Just say it loud that you're grateful for these five things. The next thing to really connect your energy is find your happy if you remember we talked about anger, that why anger happens. Anger happens because you're not happy about something, you get unhappy, right? So find your happy guys. So you, I'm not saying you'll never be unhappy about anything, but find your happy. Find out that makes you happy every day and do that one thing every day. Like a ritual, like the way you eat your food every day. Or maybe the way you uh, sleep every day. Right? So f find that one thing that makes you happy. It can be just like, you know what, I love this song and I love, when I ever listen to this song every day that makes me happy. Just do it. Every day. Doesn't matter. Or maybe just, I love this song to dance on. Just, just you know, grab, play the music and just dance if that makes you happy. One happy moment is going to 10x your energy. I promise you that. Find your happy guys and practice it every day i mean it every day the next thing which is on to do list to tell us your energy it's about finding the reason that why you're alive find that reason why you're alive find that reason that you get up in the morning and you get most excited about it can be very simple guys it can be like, I just get up in the morning to be the best mom today. 
it can be just get up in the morning to be the maybe you know to just go to exercise and get the best body ever i have seen or it can be just i get up in the morning and i'm going to be the best chef ever or maybe the best employee ever it can be the best person ever or i don't know what just somebody the best who you are best at so find that reason why you are why you are alive every day or why you want to be alive every day and the fourth i would say factor which really is going to i would say more than 10x your energy is hang out with people who love you stay with people or you know just have the company of those people who make you feel awesome on and come on guys with no conditions apply absolutely they just come and tell you that you're just awesome you know i love to be with you just be with those people who make you feel awesome with everything what you have and when i say this on this notion guys i want you guys to delete absolutely delete 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 all the people who make you feel oh my god who kind of add all the toxics in your life i would say who make your life toxic so guys follow these four things that will tell us your energy and i promise whatever life you are living today i know you are doing amazing right now but how about a little more